Hi, this is Dr. Pallavi Patri. I'm one of the nephrologists working at Columbia Asia Whitefield Hospital. So when we reach the most advanced stage of chronic kidney disease, we're not able to maintain the patient with just medications, we have to resort to renal replacement therapy. There are two forms of renal replacement therapy, which is either dialysis or tra kidney transplantation. There are two forms of dialysis, peritoneal dialysis as well as hemodialysis. And the main purpose of dialysis uh, is twofold. One, to remove salt and water from the body that the kidneys are not able to do. And two, to clean the body of toxins that are building up. So there's peritoneal dialysis and there's hemodialysis. They're two very different modalities and both serve the same purpose. Hemodialysis is uh, blood-based dialysis. Hemodialysis occurs in a hemodialysis center. It requires the creation of a vascular access. This vascular access, when planned for appropriately, is something that is done, placed in the arm by a surgeon, where an artery and a vein are, are surgically connected. Um, and that takes a few, uh, takes about two months to develop. And that access point is through which we perform hemodialysis. Hemodialysis is done, like I said, in a dialysis center. It's usually done anywhere from two to up to four times a week. The patient comes in, is sitting at a dialysis chair, and they sit and dialyze for about four hours at a time, every other day, alternate days. The frequency of dialysis, the amount of time uh, on dialysis may vary patient to patient, but it's a blood-based form of dialysis that requires the insertion of needles into their vascular access site in the arm. When dialysis, hemodialysis has to be done acutely, and we don't have time to create a vascular access in the arm, we occasionally, we have to use a catheter that is placed in the neck, in the large vessels of the neck, uh, and that way we have access to the blood whereby the blood is removed, whether it's done through the arm or through the neck, the blood is removed. It circulates through the dialysis machine and a filter where the toxins are cleared, uh, extra fluid uh, is removed and the blood is returned again either through the neck if it's an, uh, a neckline or through the vascular access in the arm. So that's hemodialysis. Peritoneal dialysis is a very different type of dialysis modality. It is non-blood based. It is not done in a dialysis center. The patient can do this at home. It requires the placement, surgical placement of a tube in the abdomen um, and the patient um, has a, the, the tube comes out of the ab abdomen and there's a little connector piece at the end of the tube. The patient can connect that to a uh, fluid bag set and the fluid that is, is then infused uh, into the abdomen, the fluid that is provided is a sterile solution with electrolytes and sugar. That fluid is instilled through the tubing into the stomach uh, and then your, the patient disconnects from uh, the fluid bag system uh, and the fluid dwells in the abdomen. It dwells in the abdomen for a period of four to six hours and it exchanges with the blood vessels that coat the abdominal wall, inside the abdominal wall. And basically again, it pulls out toxins from the blood and it pulls out additional salt and water from the blood. And then the patient again hooks up to the bag tube setting and drains out uh, the fluid and what comes out actually looks like urine with all these additional toxins and extra water. And these are this, that whole process is called an exchange. So these exchanges are repeated several times in a day, maybe three, sometimes four times. This is called continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis or CAPD. This type of dialysis can also be done with a machine, which is called automated peritoneal dialysis or APD, where the machine does all, uh, you attach uh, the tube, the same tubing to a bag system that's attached to a machine and the machine helps you dialyze, taking fluid in and out of your abdomen through the night. So you connect to the bag system once at night uh, and the machine will pull fluid in and out of the abdomen and in the morning you disconnect. Uh, so that's a little bit easier than doing the manual exchanges, but again, accomplishes the same goals. So that's the difference between hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. There are differences in terms of convenience between the two, the peritoneal dialysis. There have to be precautions taken, uh, taken by the patient themselves because they're performing the dialysis on their own. Catheter exits the abdomen has to be cleaned on a daily basis. That has to be taken care of because there will be a risk of infection otherwise. Um, and they have to follow the instructions carefully so that not to break the technique to avoid infections and so on at home. Um, but the patient can do this to their convenience. They can travel wherever they'd like with that. So it, it, it's a question of convenience. And also some patients who have more uh, cardiac heart problems, this, is a, this type of dialysis is a little bit gentler on the system altogether. Whereas hemodialysis uh, has its own uh, plus points and 
uh, pros and cons. Um, you're coming to a dialysis center, so all the work is done by the, by the dialysis technicians or nurses, so there's no real involvement much on the patient's part except showing up to the dialysis center when scheduled. Um, but there are also uh, additional problems associated with that. It's not a daily dialysis unlike peritoneal dialysis. Peritoneal dialysis occurs continuously on a daily basis. Hemodialysis really occurs mostly every other day. So toxins can build and in a period of four hours, there are more blood pressure variations that can happen because fluid is being taken out over just a short span of time, over four hours, and all this cleaning is done over four hours. So there's more ups and downs in terms of blood pressures, and toxins can build between um, dialysis sessions quite a bit. Uh, so there may be some more dietary restrictions with hemodialysis than peritoneal dialysis. There are also issues in terms if you have a catheter placed in the neck, there are definite risks of infection associated with that with hemodialysis. If you have an access placed in the arm, the risks of infections are substantially lower.